today I'll be showing you a small POC that I did where I wanted to be able to run a mainframe ZOS operating system on my local machine. There is a VM called Hercules, which allows you to do this on both a Mac and a Windows machine and a Linux machine. I determined to put Hercules inside a Vagrant box in order to isolate my Mac environment from all the parameters around the VM. As I did the research on this, I found multiple turnkey systems that could be downloaded to install. I decided to install two of them in this uh, project. One which automatically starts up the environment and doesn't require one to really understand console operations of ZOS system. The other one is more uh, fundamental and requires you to understand the console operations of the system. We'll show both of those. The source code for this project is available in GitHub. You can replicate it from there. The, the link will be in the comment section of the video. Uh, you have to install Vagrant on your local machine before uh, beginning this video. These are some of the basic steps of installing Vagrant, but I'm not going to go over those. The first script that I'll show you is called uh, Simple MVS. To start a Vagrant environment, go to the directory that contains the Vagrant file and open a command prompt at that. And this is the Vagrant file commands that will be executed to set up the, the VM, the Linux VM, within the uh, Vagrant system. So after you go to the command prompt, you type Vagrant up, and Vagrant will then begin to uh, download the box that's specified and start up the VM according to those parameters in the Vagrant file. Once the VM is started up, um, you'll be able to go inside the VM by typing Vagrant SSH. If you've installed the VirtualBox guest editions with Vagrant, you can then see the same directory that your source code has been replicated to, and you can go inside of the uh, source code and the scripts directory. The command to execute this simple MVS um, script is simply to type uh, bash space simple MVS sh and execute the script. The script is pretty simple as is shown here. It begins by updating the operating system, installing wgit, uh, installing unzip, then downloading the package and uh, unzipping the package for the simple one, simply unzipping it to a directory. Then it executes a single command to start up the uh, setup process. The Hercules configuration in the simple MVS, when chosen in the simple MVS package, automatically begins the console operations and the console commands to completely start up the, uh, the ZOS, the MVS system in the uh, Hercules VM underneath Vagrant. So there's no need to really understand the console commands in order for this to start up. Once you get to this point, you need to open the uh, 3270 emulators, which will allow you to log into the system and do things with the system. The configuration parameters for those are fairly simple as shown here. The process of starting those up, um, you can also, inside of this selected uh, configuration, it's possible to look at the console from a web browser uh, across a specific port that the Vagrant file forwards in order to see the console operations there. Otherwise, the console is basically shown terminal, the display that we've been looking at. If we go to the 3270 emulators now and we push the clear key, we're given a prompt in which we can then log on. The user ID is documented in the README file or the links to the uh, broader download file will also give you this. So it's a simple uh, logon process, this uh, user ID and then a password for that, and we're into the TSO session. Once we're into the TSO session, this demo is not going to go a lot further. We can show here, these are simple little editing routines, not the full 
ISPF, which is a commercial product. So these are other uh, freeware open source tools to be able to be used. We can go look around at uh, some of the files and, um, and do that sort of thing. We're not going to go a lot further than that in this video. Shutting down the simple MVS uh, version in my Vagrant environment is a simple process of going back to the TSO prompt and issuing the shutdown command. We can see that's been received in the console as the, uh, the commands to do console operations to shut down the system begin to occur. Uh, at the end of this process, the uh, TSO sessions will be gone and the web browser uh, aspect of getting to the console will also become disabled and we will have started up and stopped our MVS system. Now that we're back to the Linux Vagrant prompt, we can then execute the second downloaded system script system, which allows us to do console operations. This is the uh, IPL uh, version of the system, and this will then uh, it does all of the steps, not dependent upon the prior script. Some of these steps aren't needed because we executed the prior step, but they don't take that long. So we'll execute these. You can see from the process here again, it updates the operating system. Uh, installs wget, installs the zip utility, and then downloads and executes the uh, Hercules system and the MVS operating system to go in the Hercules system. Once the system is downloaded, the install process includes a script that runs. In this instance, for the IPL system, there are a few prompts that you have to follow um, to install the system, and then the system starts running after you enter the password. This requires now that you open the emulators up in order for it to talk to. And you'll need to be careful in noticing which emulator you open. Note that there is not a web browser console for this version of the software. Uh, once you hit enter, the consoles then connect and you see that it's device number 10 is an important device number. That's the one that will be the console when you do the, the process. Another one that is not 10 uh, will not be the console. It's going to be a regular TSO session. In order to get the system to boot, you have to type IPL148. Now in this instance, I'm not quite sure what happened here. So I had to actually kill the, uh, the operating system startup by typing an exit command and that just stopped the system from running completely. Then I ran and executed a new command of the, the start MVS uh, command to get the operating system to reboot again. For this instance of the operating system, we have to follow the IPL commands using the link in the readme document. You'll get the list of commands that you can follow pretty directly. Um, you can see here that doing these specific commands, responding to different prompts from the console to actually start up the operating system. Um, now, as I did this, I mistyped one and uh, ran into kind of problems, and I'm not an expert in uh, the console commands, <laughs> so it took a little while for me to get the system up and running. But through that process, you learn more about the console and uh, how the ZOS system starts up. The last script in the open source uh, project uh, goes through the process of installing Java, Scala, and the SPT uh, build utility for Scala projects. This is operating in the Linux environment, not in ZOS, um, but it may be useful for some portion of the process, so I've left it in here. Last step in the process is the exit out of the Vagrant environment. You can look at the status of your VMs and then doing the destroy command takes down the environment and reset your environment to before you started.